I'm back for the next cup. And the next cup is going to be... Oh, we'll get a... You try Bowser. Try Bowser 4, Banana Cup, Sherbet Land, Shiko Beach, Delfino Square, Waluigi Stadium. Two star. In the last video, I talked about Expo stuff. Somewhat. Not very well, I was babbling a bit. I kept forgetting what I wanted to get. I did talk about some games I wanted to get, like Resident Evil, Hard Darkness on the PS1, Rocket Robots on Wheels, on the N64, and any Sonic game that I can find, as well as Game Gear games. And I'm already in a water. I feel as though I'm being a bit too ambitious for the Expo this year. Yeah, someone else winning as well. I may not get as much as I want to do. Or I might get quite a lot of stuff, but stuff that I wasn't expecting to get. I mean, back in May, I mean, I got nine games, but... Barring the two Sonic games, Sonic 2 and Sonic 2 and the Master System, I wouldn't say I was really wanting any of the other ones, desperately. I may get the mis more mystery games though. And by mystery games I mean picking up the back of a game cart, whether it's Game Boy Advance or whatever, not looking at what the game is and just handing my money, handing it to the man or woman and handing my money over and paying for it. Buy it without knowing what it is. It could be a duplicate, but it's a risk I am willing to take. I took that risk three times at the Expo in May. And I got golf on the Game Boy. I was actually looking at picking that up as one of the games I was looking at. So I could have got two copies there, but I didn't. So I got go golf on the Game Boy. Uh, Planet Monsters on the Game Boy Advance, which is surprisingly an okay game. Bomberman-ish, and it's not bad. It's perhaps a hidden gem that I would never have looked at before. And unfortunately I got Planet of the Apes on the Game Boy Advance. It is honestly one of the worst games I've ever played. I mean I can't even do the first level. I can't do it, I just plain can't do it. The whole thing is just screwed up. The control system is just pants beyond belief. I can't, I can't really even describe how stiff it is. I mean, if you, if you press the jump button, all he does is hop forward a little bit. He doesn't jump, he just hops forward a teeny tiny inch off the ground. I mean, how the hell is that going to help you? I mean, I would have to do a video on it just to explain, but no, I'm not even doing that. That game is so rubbish. Unfortunately, it's one of these bad games I have to own, and I do own now, and it was a mystery game. Oh, mystery games. Hopefully I won't get any bad mystery games this time. I wouldn't mind too much if I did get a duplicate. I wouldn't be that disappointed, as long as it was a good duplicate and not a bad game. <sighs> I do reckon I will get a duplicate this time though, if I do one of these mystery games. Would not surprise me. I'll try and duplicate, do one of these mystery games for the Game Boy Color. As I only have seven Game Boy Color games, there's very little chance I'm going to get duplicates. I think I only have seven Game Boy Color games. I may only have five. I don't know, I can't remember. Ah, uh, I get the feeling it's seven though. Really don't own a lot of games for that system. Don't know why, it's not a bad system to have. It's got lo loads of games on it. A hell of a lot of racing games, I know that much. Ha, that behind the tree. Skills. Now I've got all these old Nintendo magazines like 
Back in the old days, old Nintendo official magazine, old NOM, they, they started doing a thing where all their Game Boy and Game Boy Color, well, all their Game Boy Color games were in their own little magazine, which came with it. And I have found all these magazines I had. I was looking through this whole library of Game Boy Color games that are coming out. One thing that did strike me, look at that, <laughs> awesome. How many racing games there actually were on the system? I mean, there were loads. I mean, Woody Woodpecker Racing, Flintstones Racing, Disney All Stars Racing, uh, normal racing games, of course, Mario Kart. Well, not Mario Kart, what am I talking about? Who else had a racing game? Can't remember. But there was just so many racing games, Racky Races. So many racing games on the system, far too many to count. I mean, it was a console for racing games, cartoony racing games, but it was a console for racing games. Oh, I'll tell you what game I have to get, and this is not to do with a game by color or anything. Because you know, some, some people may know, I am trying to collect bad games as well as. GameCube games and Sonic the Hedgehog games. In my own way, I am trying to get... Oh, by the way, this is one of my favourite courses in the DS, Mario Kart. Hooray! In my own way, I am trying to get a good collection of bad games, because I've already got quite a few. Anubis 2... God, my LPO, that says it all. Anubis 2, Ninja Breadman, Bubsy 3, Freaking D, Pen of the Apes, Superman 64, and what have you. So I've already got a decent collection. Rocket Power. <laughs> but I do want more. And I am planning to get more. Come what may, at some point or another, I will have E.T. on the Atari. That will be mine. I will have it. I must have it. Please let me have it. I'm also... Yeah, I don't really want it, but I'm also going to get crazy, crazy Frog Racer on the Game Boy Advance. I know there's one on the DS, but I'm going to go for the Game Boy Advance one. Because I just remember that got 5% in the yeah, Nintendo magazines. Five whole percent. So, for that reason and that reason alone, I may indeed get it. It's a terrible game. So I should buy it. Also Clay Fighter, 63 and was it three quarters or whatever the hell that crazy title was. That one that came on the N64 that got 25%. At some point I should have to get that as well. At some point I will. I almost got it once. Did ask for it once. But that's before I even had the N64. Or read any review stuff. I was taken in by the fact that I heard from Jim as a playable fighter. Yeah. I don't suppose I should get Jeopardy as well. I mean, that's an American only game that came out. But I remember an imp. I was reading what's the old Nintendo 64 magazine. It wasn't the old non magazine, it was another one. Which eventually became Cube, I think. But they gave Jeopardy 9% in it. I mean, they gave Real Wheel of Fortune 14% and Jeopardy 9% in their imports review section. And I have looked online, I have seen Jeopardy online for relatively cheap in this box. So, I may be tempted into one day getting that as well, even though I can't play it. Because, you know, Jeopardy! Why not? It's crap. It was a dull show, is it? What as it was? And eventually, once I do get a big... Hold on. Ah, oh, drink. A big collection of bad games, I am actually going to do a video about them all. I'm going to put them all on my desk, all the worst games I have. Put them all on my desk and do a video on them. Determine which are the worst games I own. That won't be easy. 
saying which ones I probably would play again or the top three that I would play again and you know just do stuff like that random stuff like that sounds fun to me although the general consensus is that Bubsy 3D is the worst game I've got and come what may that will always be the worst game I have because Bubsy 3D is just bugger <laughs> well it is just bugger but it's just not a game it's, it's not even a game it's like a very early beta version of it that's not even been finished stew yeah that's gonna win the worst game award by far but then what gets second will Anubis 2 get second well if you've watched my LP of Anubis 2 you, you, you will understand why it could get second and you can understand why Ninja Breadman is already out the, ru the running for second place because Anubis 2 is so much worse than Ninja Breadman I mean it makes Ninja Breadman look like Zelda <laughs> it really does I've never been <laughs> I haven't been so angry at a video game since Bubsy 3D really when I was playing Anubis 2 and you could tell that if you watched my fu the, bu the video against the final boss alone I mean I was pissed Ooh, I took out a banana Planet of the Apes, maybe, I don't know Superman 64 That game is bad Don't get me wrong, that game is pretty diabolical bad It has glitches up the arse as well I mean there is just glitches, I mean Look at my video again When I decided to go to the training area I glitched through the floor So just watch that and you'll see how bad it actually is, glitch-wise. I think one of the big bad things people kept saying was the rings. And honestly, once again, you have to watch my video to understand it, but I didn't really have that much of a problem with the rings, flying through the rings. I actually didn't find that all that difficult. It was everything else that was a bit of a pain in the ass. I don't know. I thought becoming a bird. Bottom five? Probably not. Maybe in the top ten, but not the bottom five. Anywho, I've won again. I think there's one thing you can say about Mario Kart Wii. The 150cc is pretty easy. Even if it is one of my my second favourite Mario Kart game. Anyway, see you next time.